very warm welcome to our service of Holy Communion this second Sunday of Lent. It is good to be with you as we celebrate together. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O oh my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. So we hold a moment of stillness. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord, who is full of compassion, and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. Most merciful Lord, we confess that we have sinned in thought and word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. And so we will hear the songs asking for God's mercy upon us. So we come to the collect, the special prayer for today. Lord God Almighty, grant to your people grace to withstand the temptations that we face with pure hearts and minds and to follow you, the only God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we will hear our Gospel reading. This is the reading that's taken from Mark chapter 8, verses 31 to 38. Then Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things. He taught that the Son of Man would not be accepted by the Jewish elders, the leading priests, and the teachers of the law. He taught them that the Son of Man must be killed and then rise from death after three days. Jesus told them plainly what would happen. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to criticise him. But Jesus turned and looked at his followers. Then he criticised Peter and said, Go away from me, Satan. You don't care about the things of God. You only care, you care only about the things that men think are important. Then Jesus called the crowd to him along with his followers. He said, If anyone wants to follow me, must say no to the things he wants. He must be willing to die on a cross and then he must follow me. Whoever wants to save his life will give up true life, but 
whoever gives up his life for me and for the good news will have true life forever. It is worth nothing for a person to have the whole world if he loses his soul. A person could never pay enough to buy, his, buy back his soul. The people who live now are living in a sinful and evil time. If anyone is ashamed of me and my teaching, then I will be ashamed of him. I'll be ashamed of him when I come with the glory of my Father and the holy angels. So we come to the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And so we come to our prayers. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, as we come to you in prayer today, we give you thanks that you're with us in the wilderness and in the bright light, in the shadows and in the clarity of life. We pray today for your protection of your world. That we might be able to use the resources that you have given us fairly. That we might care for the planet and for all the good things that you give us. Lord, give us wisdom as we share the good gifts of your world. We pray, Lord, for our leaders, for all who seek to maintain law and order, for those who guide government, and for the decisions that are made about finance and the implications for people's lives. We pray for a just and fair society. We pray as well, Lord, for all who are struggling during this difficult time. For those longing to see loved ones and friends. For those who are ill or who are carrying heavy burdens we pray for all carers and all who support loved ones. Lord, give them strength and peace for the days ahead. Finally, Lord, we place ourselves into your care, asking for your protection, guidance and peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the peace of the Lord be always with you. We come to our Eucharistic prayer.
the Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. You are worthy of our thanks and praise, Lord God of truth. For by your breath of your mouth you have spoken your word and all things have come into being. You fashioned us in your image and placed us in the garden of your delight. Though we chose the path of rebellion, you would not abandon your own. Again and again you drew us into your covenant of grace. You gave your people the law and taught us by your prophets to look for your reign of justice, mercy and peace. As we watch for the signs of your kingdom on earth, we echo the songs of the angels in heaven, evermore praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord God, you are the most holy one, enthroned in splendour and in light. Yet in the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, you reveal your power, the power of your love, made perfect in human weakness. Embracing our humanity, Jesus showed us the way of salvation, loving us to the end. He gave himself to death for us, Dying for his own, he set us free from the bonds of sin, that we might rise and reign with him in glory. On the night he gave himself up for all of us, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as oft as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the death that he suffered upon the cross. We celebrate his resurrection, his bursting from the tomb. We rejoice that he reigns at your right hand on high and we long for his coming in glory. As we recall the one perfect sacrifice of our redemption, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let these gifts of your creation be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Form us into the likeness of Christ and make us a perfect offering in your sight. Look with favour on your people and hear the cry of our hearts. Bless the earth, heal the sick, let the oppressed go free and fill your church with power from on high. Gather your people from the ends of the earth to feast with all your saints at the table at your kingdom where the new creation is brought to perfection in Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the crumbs under your table, but you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and they, we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat at your kingdom. Amen. And so the body of Christ. Mm. 
the blood of Christ. Loving Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, has come to us in word and spirit, in bread and cup. Make us holy and bring us to perfection when we stand before him through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So may Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, to take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>